Well, hey everyone, Graham here from the recordingrevolution.com. I have a quick tutorial for all of you Pro Tools users out there. I've been getting some questions about how do you make tempo changes within a Pro Tools session. So not just how do you decide the tempo in Pro Tools from the outset, but how do you literally change the tempo within a song, let's say if the song slows down towards the end, has a retard, or it speeds up, or you just simply want a different tempo for the verse uh, as opposed to the chorus, how do you do that so that the click track follows that tempo and you can still play to a click, but have all the tempo changes you want? Well, it's a great question and it's really, really easy. So let me show you this really quickly because this might help you out. When you're in Pro Tools and you want to create a click track, you go to the track menu and choose Create Click Track. Pretty simple. And you get the uh, aux track with a click plugin on it, right? And that way you can automate the click if you want. It can mute, it can come back, you can change the volume of the click, all with automation. That's what I like about having a click on its own track. Pretty cool thing. But now you've got a default tempo of 120. You can see the 120 up here, see the little red diamond. That's the tempo. Take a listen. If you didn't like that tempo, of course, you could double click that red icon and choose something a little faster, like 160. And you could take a listen to the difference. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're really slick and you don't know the tempo of your song, but you have it in your head, you can open up the transport window, choose transport, pop out of conductor mode, so you're in manual mode, and that allows you to click inside the tempo where you can literally change it here. You know, you can click and drag the tempo. I don't know if you knew that, but that's not special. What if you don't know the tempo, so you want to tap it? So if in your head you know the tempo is you kind of sing it in your head. Well, why don't you click in there, find the letter T on your keyboard, and with your finger tap along to the tempo in your head. All right, Pro Tools calculates it for you. It's pretty close to 83 or 82 beats per minute. Let's take a listen. Boom, you've got your tempo and you can adjust from there. That's a little freebie for you. But let's say you found your tempo, and let's say it is 120 or 160 like we had earlier. And you like that tempo to start with, but you want the tempo to change. How do you do that? Well, what you have to do to make any kind of tempo changes throughout the song in Pro Tools is make sure you are in the conductor mode. That's this little button here in the transport. If you look closely, it looks like a man holding up his two hands, and in one hand he has a baton. He's the conductor, right? A conductor determines the tempo, tells the orchestra how fast or slow to play. Make sure that's enabled because then that's going to ghost out any manual tempo changes and instead they want you to use the tempo bar, which is up here in Pro Tools. If you don't see this bar that says tempo, by the way, up here there's a little drop down menu. It allows you to see tempo, the markers, the meter, the key, the chords. You can click that and add any of these rulers that you want to see. And then if you don't want to see them, simply hold Option or Alt and click those rulers and they can disappear. Okay. So right now I just want to see tempo and bars and beats. So in this hypothetical song, I've got the tempo of 160 for the first eight bars. But at bar nine, I want it to drop to 120. I want it to slow down. Well, if you're in a grid mode, which is a good way to go, select the bar you want the tempo to change, like I have here. And then over at the tempo window, press this little plus sign. So you're telling Pro Tools, I want to make a tempo change. Snap it to the bar, please at location bar 9, beat 1, and I want the tempo to change to 120. Click OK. All right, that's as simple as that. Now you have a little icon here telling Pro Tools, look, at bar 9, the tempo is going to slow down to 120. I can see the tempo. I can see an icon for tempo change. And if you look closely, you can see, why are we doing this so small? You can see the, uh, the measures opening up. Right? They're slowing down so they look longer. Take a listen. Here's a couple of bars of 160, then you'll hear the slowdown. Right? 
Simple as that, the click plugin will follow this tempo meter. So you could have as many tempo changes as you want. It could come back to 160, it could get slow for a minute, it could get fast for a minute, it can change for one bar if you want. Wherever you place the cursor and then hit the plus sign, that is where the tempo change will be. Now, what if you don't just want a static change like that? I don't know if that is always a helpful thing to have the tempo immediately change. What if you want the band to gradually slow down, right? Well, this is a really simple thing too. Fortunately for us, the tempo meter has some more functionality. And I can hit this little icon, this little arrow to spin out some more information to widen out that tempo meter, tempo bar we were looking at. And what we see is a new view now. We see horizontal lines representing tempo. The higher the lines, the faster the tempo. So this line for 160 is a little higher than 120. The line drops down. They, they represent tempo from top to bottom, if that gives you a good visual. So what if you want the song to basically slow down gradually from bar 7 to bar 9? So you have two measures of it slowing down. So by the time you hit bar 9, it is 120. Well, then all you have to do is use some automation, okay? You can come up here in your tools and choose the pencil tool. This is where you can write automation. If you hold it down, make sure you're in line mode. So it's just it's going to draw a straight line. Um, otherwise, you're freehanding it with a mouse or something. And then what you can simply do is just come over here to where you want the tempo change to start and click and drag down to where you want it to end. So I want it to start up there. I want it to end here, okay? And all it did was create a series of gradual tempo changes, evenly dispersed, to get me from 160 down to 120. Go back to our smart tool and we'll take a listen to what that sounds like. There's a couple of measures beforehand, two measures of 160, and then the two measures dropping down to 120. There you go. A slow, simple retard, and it gets us from where we want to be to where we want to be at the speed we want it to be at. If you wanted a four measure, you know, gradual slowdown, you could just draw it in for four measures. If you want the tempo to be absolutely crazy, you can come into freehand and just draw free, just draw free crazy tempo changes, right? And then Pro Tools will follow that. Whatever you do to the tempo meter, the tempo bar, the click will follow, and that gives you a lot of power. So I hope that gives you some ideas as you're working in Pro Tools. It's a good idea always, before you sit down to record your song or your session, to map out the tempo the way you want. If there are tempo changes, if the meter changes, um, if anything changes, write it in to the tempo ruler so the click will always follow it and you'll never have to think about it again. Hope that helps. Again, this is Graham at TheRecordingRevolution.com. Hope you all had a Merry Christmas and definitely subscribe to the channel if these videos are helpful to you. That way you stay up to date every time a new one's posted. And if you haven't, I try to remind people on YouTube, head over to the site, TheRecordingRevolution.com. There's a lot more content there. I think so many people don't realize that we're posting articles and tips all week in addition to the video. So there's more free content there. Grab the ebook, The Number One Rule of Home Recording. It's absolutely free. It will change the way you think and work in your studio, and it's right there on the website. So go check it out and give you some good reading over the holidays. Hope that helps. Have a great week. We will talk to you soon.